Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Epicarn at Five, and welcome to another edition of Madden NFL 21 Career Mode. So it's basically the fran face of the franchise I'm doing again. It's so for this video clip, I'll be going against three teams so far. So it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles, the Chicago Bears, and the Cleveland Browns. So if you're willing to watch my whole entire video, which is around 30, 30 to 35 minutes, it will be dedicated to, to realize that, I mean, do as much as I can in this quarterback role, so, because it's not that easy to know where your ride, ride receivers are, the tight ends, and the running backs, when you pass the ball, or even run the ball, because... What I would like to say is, it was quite easy, you know, from the first video, and all I can say is, it's pretty much safe for me, and so this is basically the Philadelphia Eagles that I'm going to go against in this first game, so... And why I think it's my best game, because it's a NFC East rival, and you have to do well in most of those games, you know, other than the other division, divisions throughout the NFL, so. I'm not like an NFL fanatic, but well, when I do during the fall, Every Sunday, I mean, I just see what everybody does on offense and defense and so forth, and basically, I just keep making video clip after video clip and record for my Xbox DVR to see what the best content out there will be, or the highlights of it. And Well, my toughest team was, would be so far might be the Chicago Bears because it's like one of my favorite cities, basically Chicago, throughout the United States. But at the same time, I did get a trade offer and I accepted to get Allen Robinson, which was like a blockbuster trade, and it really improved my my offensive schemes to tell you the truth and basically that's what I'm going for how to build that offense and you know so I guess I'll stop here so as of the score right now it's 0-0 zero, zero. so I'm AK Apicar 95 if you enjoyed this video give a like if you want to subscribe for more content, subscribe in the bell button down in the below right section of the video screen. And if you want to comment from share a comment, comment down below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So make it have current my five. Well have a great day and peace out. Secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. To Bryce Love. So this offense, Charles, you know, we've heard of teams acquiring nicknames. You think about maybe the Legion of Boom or the greatest show on turf, the monsters of the midway. Well, this offense has a nickname now as well. They wish to be known as the show goats. Your thoughts? I'm actually intrigued by this one because I think, and I'm trying to play along here and make sure I've got it right, when we say GOATS, they mean like the acronym for greatest of all time, right? G-O-A-T with all the periods in between. That's pretty chesty, isn't it? That's putting it all out there. But as they say, it ain't bragging. If you can do it, all they've got to do is continue to show it. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. 
That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll go down at the 28. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. You know, Charles, in this offense, you and I talked about it off air, but they already had a lot of weapons. But since we last saw them, they've added another piece to the puzzle. Is it possible, though, that maybe at some point you make too many moves, you, you tinker a little too much? It's possible. There's no doubt about that because sometimes you can look at it, have it almost perfected, and say, let's add one more, and it doesn't quite work out. That means you've got to know who you're bringing in and you have to know your locker room and how they're going to gel together and find a way to make it work. And right now, it's working really well for this crew. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Operating from the gun, Santos. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. It's their quarterback. His fourth touchdown on the year. And Washington... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down, Santos. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first down, here's Love. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. I always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Derek Barnett able to maneuver in for the sack. Hey, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. And that's caught inside the 30. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Kenny Stills, his first touchdown on the year. And Washington going to add him. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Running to start the drive. Love. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Off the play fake. Santos looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Pushing through tacklers at the 30. And down to the 11. A big play there on the catch and run. 59 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats. And, and this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Jesse James. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his...
It had been a long journey just to get to this point, and with every step, the stakes were raised. The press wanted to gauge our confidence level. As I stepped away from the mic, I knew the next time we stepped onto the field would determine whether we kept going or vanished forever. Today, from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, it's the NFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone, and he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. down Santos on the left side this is Stills and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds that's good for a first down there's a guy who went over a thousand yards receiving in the regular season and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs so CD the playoffs are here and all the excitement that goes along with the month of January and for this offense let's be frank they really feel like they're the team to beat and they should feel that way this team should be uber confident about their abilities to go on a big run here in the playoffs because let's face it this one of the most talented teams in the league they've assembled talent from the offseason in the draft you know during the season they've brought in great parts to add to their team now it's time to see if they've grown together as a team and are they more than just the sum of their parts are they finally a unit that can do some damage in the playoffs to throw on third down Santos and that's caught inside the 30 and they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done give them 35 yards there on the third down conversion at the 25 yard line operating from the gun Santos almost able to intercept it that's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive instead second down brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Gibson, ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and six. Eluding the pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The quarterback taken down and six. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. His kick is good. And it's 3 0 Washington. Makes this Washington three. Bears. Every possession in the postseason. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Now, the first carry for Bryce Love. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now a give right side. It's Gibson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
He was taken down behind the line of scrimmage. A one-yard loss on the play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Third down. It'll be love to try and get the first. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first and 10, Santos, and he slings one that's incomplete. Antonio Gibson, the intended target, and it's second down. Gibson, incomplete. Brings up second and 10. On the draw, this is Love. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. And he finds Stills, complete. And some room to roam now. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Touchdown. Kenny Stills. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Three yards the game there, second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. A very tough run, but for a short gain out near the 32. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops in complete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Going to let one fly for run. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. He will push his way down to about the 14. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And that is incomplete. Kyle Fuller there defensively. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful.
We were all nervous about the Super Bowl. Who wouldn't have been, right? But I looked at the players around me and remembered everything we'd done to make this a reality. And with that, we put our helmets on and headed for the tunnel. Tonight on EA Sports, Super Bowl 56. For the first time in almost 30 years, the big game is back in Los Angeles. Super Bowl 56 everywhere. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. First and ten. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and on the gun. Santos throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Santos's pass intended for. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and now it's third down. By Denzel Ward, operating from the gun. Santos, and he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So, CD, this offense, we talked about them all year long. So many dynamic players at the skill positions. A lot of folks thought that they were shoe-ins to make it to this Super Bowl. It proved to be a little bit more difficult than that. But bottom line, here they are with a chance to make history and win a Super Bowl title. Don't you just love watching this happen? Don't you just love how we got to here? Because this group, known as the Show Goats, they have put on a show all year long. Remember that Goats is really for greatest of all time, and they're trying to back that up. People are going to remember this name if this team finds a way to win this game. If they lose, they're going to make fun of it. The bottom line is, I love the fact that they put themselves on the line and let everyone know that they believe in their abilities. On first and ten, Santos. Out of the middle, complete. That's Robinson. And down inside the 15, he goes. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. To Antonio Gibson. 10 yards on the pickup. From the goal, Santos toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Antonio Gibson, the intended target, and it's third down. 
It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. And it is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Throwing on first down, Santos. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling is an everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. They run the counter. It's long. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Operating from the gun. Santos. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin. So we are in the second quarter now as the offense gets set to take over. They've got it first and 10. From the gun, Santos. We'll find Gibson here complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Three yards the gain there, second down. At the 47, he'll get about four here. Down to the 43-yard line. Gibson, when you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. From the gun on third down, Santos. And going to be knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. And Robinson with a big catch. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A gutsy call, turns out to be a good one though. First down on a pickup of 11. Back to throw, Santos, middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Washington on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his second touchdown. the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. On first down, Santos. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Incomplete. Reedy Williams on the coverage. To throw again, Santos. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. 
Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They really have a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll run on first down. Love. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Boy, that is a seven-yard loss. Second down now. Back at the 23-yard line. And the kings of the Super Bowl are the Washington football team. They win it, and they will once again possess the Lombardi Trophy. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two. And with that, the dream team stepped off the field and into football legend. What means more to your legacy? It was a once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of that group. I'm grateful we were able to cap it off with the Super Bowl title. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.